שלום חברים. Some nice sirens for the beginning of the live stream. See, I never have this part down, you know? It's the setting up the tripod that fucks me every time. Welcome, folks. How's this looking? There we are, a little bit of light, a little bit of tall. What up, folks? Shalom. Shalom, 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 shalom. I'm so excited to be here with you all today. I'm just opening up the live stream. I'm opening up the live chat on my computer. Welcome. 77 people. 77 people. That's a strong, it's a very strong start. Very strong start to the stream. We've got a lot to talk about today. A lot to talk about today, folks. I am the whitest colonizer up in this chat. Thank you so much, T. Bishop. This right here is the face of a white colonizer. Look at it and weep. I feel like I look like a greaser. I got a new jacket and this jacket is making me look like a greaser for some reason. Turn the white light off? Why? Does it not look good? What do you guys say? White light off or on? I also have this version and that version. I feel like the white light looks good. I feel like we need it. Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. I'm so happy to have you all here. Um, so happy to have everybody here, 81 people. We're trying to hit a record today. More than 160 live viewers in the chat. That would be the ideal goal. Um, guys, should I listen to Raj? I don't know. I feel like at the white light looks the best. I don't know if I should listen to Raj. I love you, Raj, but I don't know if I should listen to you. You guys take a vote on it. What light should I have? Let's do a poll. Fuck it. Let's, do a, let's open up with the poll. What light? White or brown? Hit me. I'll do whatever you guys say. I am your girl. Whatever you guys want, I do for you. Um, we have a lot of news to talk about. There was a major terrorist attack that was thwarted yesterday in Tel Aviv. Uh, it was actually thwarted outside of Janine, uh, but we'll go, we'll, go over the, uh, we'll go over the news. There was 100 missiles that were launched from Hezbollah towards Israel today, towards the northern border of Israel today. Uh, it's pretty much a no-go zone right now. I can't, I can't get up there. I know I keep talking about it. I'm trying to go up there. I can't. It's just not safe. Uh, it's too dangerous. There was a hundred missiles launched. The thing is, it feels like with this month, it's just eventually going to get here to the center of Tel Aviv anyway, so it doesn't even really matter about trying to go up there right now. Um, it's, it's impossible to... Yo, Doug's up in the chat. What up, Doug? All right, I'm keeping the white light. Taking it. We're not listening to Roger. Love you, Roger. We're not listening to you. Um, Listen here, folks. Listen here, folks. Before we start the stream, I was looking at the analytics today. Officially, as of today, you guys have surpassed in Super Chats and in memberships. We have over 108 members on the channel at the moment. And you guys have surpassed in ad revenue, the video revenue on Super Chats. 100 people in the chat right now. Folks, to everybody who's watching, a huge Huge, massive, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. We've been at this for a month and a half, creating this content, and you guys have shown me so much support. It's, it's immense. I hope you guys keep it coming. The memberships are the lifeblood of the channel right now. We've got 105 members. If we can get that number to like 1,000, I don't even need to think about sponsors. I don't need to think about shit. It's just you guys supporting me, everybody putting down their little bit every month. It's going to be like massive. So you guys are unbelievable. You guys are amazing. Uh -huh. A month ago, I had 20 members on the channel. I think like 15. My channel was dwindling. A month ago, we have 108 fucking members right now. That's insane. You guys are unbelievable. Um, and again, the super chats are beyond me. Like it's, you guys are amazing. So before we want to go into the news, I really want to say a huge thank you again. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for everything that you guys are doing because it's, it's incredible. Um, all right, like we do in every stream, please, everybody let me know down below where you're watching from. Get a little hello. A huge shout out to all the members who are in the chats right now. Natalie, the beautiful Natalie, Raj, Israel Tavor, The Being Becoming, Jacob, Jacob's up in her. Every single member that's in here, Shayna, Shayna, hello, The Being Becoming. Uh, who else is here? All the members, all the members. We've got Cry Banana, Lily's up in here, Mars Mello's up in here, Bong James. Biggie Bong, James, Hannah, of course, is beautiful. Hannah, the amazing Hannah, the queen of the memberships. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Hannah is our version of Oprah. 
She's our Oprah who hands out memberships. HD is up in here. Another member. Happy Dill Pickle. Oh, Avi. Avi's up in here. Thank you guys, for everybody, who, for being a member. Everybody's a member. Oh, damn. We're already opening up with a super chat. Itzik. This is your fifth super chat, I think. That's what it's saying. Baruch Hashav. He's basically saying a big thank you. And thank you so much, Itzik. Hit this up with 30 shekel on the beginning. We're getting that we're getting them spending shekels. All towards the anti-Semites. But look, we we started the stream early today. In 20 minutes, we got a hundred people. It seems like not everybody here is an anti-Semite at the moment. That usually changes towards the end of the stream. So let's see an hour in how many anti-Semites we're at, and then we can start the super chat <laughs> super chat trading in spite of them. Doug, calm down, all right, Doug? Relax yourself, Doug. Calm down. Wait. Hold your ammo, Doug, until the anti-Semites start coming in, all right? I know you like your happy on the super uh, chat trigger. The beautiful, the queen herself, Betsy Brennan is in the chat. Betsy is in the chat, folks. Betsy's basically my other mom. Betsy, Betsy's basically my stepmom. Thank you for being here, Betsy. Did you guys all listen to my uh, podcast episode on soothing semantics, by the way? Uh, for everybody who's listening and post, by the way, we got 4,000 views on the last episode of the live stream. YouTube has been systematically demonetizing my live stream episodes, by the way, just as a heads up. I don't know why it's happening now. Um, but yes, uh, uh, if you guys didn't listen to my soothing semantic episode, it's on my community tabs. Give it a listen. It's really good. Uh, it's with me and my friend Rafi. Highly suggest you listen to podcasts. You get a little bit more insight, stuff you might not get on here. Uh, all right, we got Jacob from Asheville, North Carolina. I heard Asheville is really nice. Welcome, Jacob. Natalie, the beautiful Natalie's in Spain. Why can't I put a link, YouTube link in the super chat? You sh Oh, I don't think you can put a YouTube link in the super chat. Uh, all right, Doug. <laughs> Doug, is it with your fifth super chat as well? Hamza, my boy. Thank you, Doug. Appreciate you very much. Um, Victoria Lynn's in Louisiana. T. Bishop's in Oklahoma. Sleazy OC is from is from New York. Oh shit! Here we go. <laughs> we're begin or we're starting early. Let me get through the news a little bit, guys. Let's wait for the anti semites. Thank you, Israel. Saying thank you so much, man. Uh, Fifteen shekel for the demonetization. That's your third super chat. God bless you, man. Love you. Thank you so much. Where was I on this list? Um, Oklahoma, we got Sleazy from New York, we got Mars Mellows back in, Lily's in France, Magnum Opus is in Milan, Jordy's in Hamburg, MB's in Malta, I miss Toronto's in Alberta, Calpoke says, love you tall, great haircut, love you too, you also have a great haircut, Mars Mellows I'm back in Manchester again, welcome back to Manchester, I fell in love with a girl in Manchester once, fun fact, um, June Trenholm says she's from Canada, Helen's in California, Got another one in Toronto. All right. Lots of people in the chat today, folks. Much love from South Africa. Much love back. I wish your government wasn't so anti-Semitic, but we love you. Um, Missouri's up in the chat. Guys, welcome. There's a lot of freaking people in here. This is dope. This is dope. We're starting off early and there's a lot of people. I'm really excited about this. I really hope that we can break our freaking record today. Can we get to 200 people in the stream? That would be so exciting. Um, it's also going to be chaos in the chat. I'm excited for it. It's going to be absolute chaos. Um, Sivan's in Petach Tikva, free Petach Tikva. We need to free Petach Tikva. It's a very, very important uh, thing to do. Um, okay, we, should we open up with some news? Let's open up with some news. It's been horrific news last couple of days. Um, there was something else that I wanted to say, and I can't remember what I wanted to say. Uh, I can't remember what I wanted to say. Uh, okay, let's just start with the news. So I'll pull this up from I-24. Um, I was reading their article yesterday. I was actually working on the computer yesterday on my other channel, Mythos Safari. And, uh, and I, um, which is, by the way, starting to catch some streams. So Steam, so thank you guys a lot for the support on that channel. It's really cool. Um, but I, uh, I was reading, or I was listening, with, I was sitting with my grandma working and I listened to the news. I heard the news coming on and they just, there was a report that just came out that they thwarted a major terrorist attack. Um, so this is from I-24 News. Just to give you guys a heads up, if any of you guys have not listened, we summarized in the last couple chats, Ramadan, the mo holy month of Ramadan in Islam has just started. Uh, it was officially 
the first night yesterday. And for the last month in preparation for Ramadan, pretty much all extremist Muslim leaders have been um, riling up uh, Muslim populations globally to attack Jewish people and is like Israel related things on the month of Ramadan. Hamas leaders have been doing it, Hezbollah has been doing it. So it was a known factor to a lot of us that probably something was gonna happen during this month. I couldn't have, uh, I couldn't have, I couldn't have imagined that it would have been on the exact day, on the first day. I thought something would happen in the Temple Mount, which there was a little bit of violence, but on the first day. Oh, and I remembered what I wanted to say. Thank you guys a lot for the support on yesterday's video. Um, I got a really another, a really cool, exciting video coming out tomorrow as well. But thank you guys for the support. You guys really appreciated meeting my grandma and Doduri and seeing the life here in Hulon. I'm now living in my grandma's house. Um, don't worry, I'll be nomadic soon too again. But yeah, um, I appreciate you guys for all the support. Esmavi just gifted five memberships. Let's see who's going to get it. Sivan Shemesh, Alexa, Gerald Valentino, and D and Isaac. You guys are all members now. Welcome. Welcome to the family. Whether you're anti-Semitic or not, we're happy to have you here. Actually, we're even happier for anti-Semitic because you just make us more money and then we make more content against, uh, against the anti-Semites. Anyways, from I24 News, so thank you, by the way. Huge thank you for the support on yesterday's video. I really, really, really appreciate it. Um, okay, as for I24 News yesterday, uh, in a swift and decisive operation, Israeli troops from the elite Duvdevan unit have neutralized a Palestinian terrorist who was en route to Tel Aviv to carry out an imminent terror attack, according to sources. The individual, identified as Mohammed Jaber, a resident of Jenin in the West Bank, was intercepted and killed by Duvdevan commandos in the town of Zeta, near the West Bank security barrier. Um, the news initially broke, I think, on Israeli TV. And then this is from Elon Levy, who is the uh, spokesperson for Israel, the, the one that everybody really loves. He's great. Um, he said, Breaking Israel just thwarted an immediate Palestinian suicide bombing in a joint IDF and ISA counter-terror mission. Janin resident Muhammad Jabal was eliminated in the town of Zeta while on his way to Israel to carry out a suicide attack in the immediate future. Jabal was armed with a weapon and a ready-to-use explosive device. Alongside that, there was another terror attack thwarted yesterday um, in Italy by apparently the Al Qassam brigades, which are the same terrorists from um, same terrorists from Hamas that. Uh, that tried or that that um, that that committed the October seventh attack. So three Palestinians are also from I twenty four news. Three Palestinians arrested in Italy on the terrorist plot suspe suspicion. Uh, Italian police arrested three Palestinians suspected in a plot terror uh, plotting a terrorist attack, including a suicide attack against civilian and military targets on foreign soil. The suspects are believed to be part of the rapid response group Tulkarem brigades of the Al Aqsa Martyrs Brigade. Designated a terrorist unit by the terrorist organization by the European Union. One fucking day into Ramadan. One. 24 hours. For all the motherfuckers who were in this chat the other day. Talking shit about how Ramadan is a holy month and a peaceful month. I agree. For the mass majority of, of uh, Arab and Muslim populations, it is one fucking day this is the problem with islamic extremism one day into the month and this is what happens one fucking day that is insane that is not okay by any means that this is the type of rhetoric that we have going on that this is the attempt on israel and on jews globally what the fuck do jews in italy have to do anything with this what what do they have to do to prove a point what does it have to do with them we got a super chat from Cool Dude the Wens five fifty five with five dollars. Thank you so much, man. And says, "What is the best way to learn Hebrew?" I really love the book of Isaiah, and I love to study in this original Hebrew. I would say maybe try to do a few lessons on Duolingo, and then if you're really serious about it and you see that you want to do it, um, I'd like maybe get a tutor online. There's lots of tutors online that you can set up with. If you look up on Instagram, there's tons of like Israeli teachers who or Israeli people who speak who speak really good English who would be. Happy to teach you. And then uh, additionally, sorry, when the war is over, I recommend coming to Israel, um, practicing language. That's more of an expensive option because it's really expensive to be here. Um, uh, but yeah, it's Hebrew is not an easy language to learn, especially if you're not coming from a Semitic language that you originally speak. So I would say good luck. 
And uh, if you're really into it and you really want to, I'm sure it'll come easy to you. Um, should I? I think I'm going to promote this stream real quick on my Instagram just to see if uh, anybody comes in. Everybody smile. Everybody get in here and smile real quick. Hee! Stream on my gram real quick so more people come in. Let's see if we can get more people to join. Um, so one day into Ramadan, and this is the, the bullshit that we're dealing with. One freaking day into the month. Omega, welcome to Clat Support, brother. Appreciate you being here, man. Thanks so much, dude. Thanks for joining the fam. Sorry, I'm just getting the link of the stream real quick so I can post this on my gram. I'm a grimity grimity gram, grimity gram, 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 gram. Here's my grimity gram. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are real quick. I'm going to read your comments. Let me know your thoughts. What do you guys think about the fact that the first day of Ramadan, we had a thwarted terrorist attack on Tel Aviv, suicide bombing, which has not happened here in a very long time, like a proper suicide bombing, and uh, and uh, and another terror attack in Italy that was planned. Let me know what you guys think. I'm posting this on my grammar quick. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da. I'm a little muffin man. I'm a tiny muffin man. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Did we talk about the fact that we were on uh, the Destiny big stream? I think we talked about this before already. Destiny shouted me out on one of his streams, which was pretty cool. Okay, let's see. I'm going to read some of your comments real quick, and then we'll get into more. We'll, we'll talk about some more stuff. Um... Omega said, Meta la ruchcha, meta lecha kapara, lecha kapara de shamashti. Toda. Appreciate you becoming a member, Omega. Marichin ze meodachin. Okay, let's see here. The being becoming said, There wasn't a terror attack because the Palestinians were arrested before they could do it. Did you not listen? Clean your ears a bit, buddy. Thank you for being rude to Shalimar. He's our resident anti Semite. We haven't done a poll in a while making fun of Shalimar, so should we do that? Is Shalimar. A little butt boy. I don't even know what that means, but we're just gonna. I hope it's not, um, I hope it's not, uh, like, uh, uh, derogatory, derogatory term, butt boy, but we're gonna use it. And hopefully, we don't get banned for it. Hey, Lily dropping a five gifted membership here. God bless you, Lily. Dick just became, <laughs> Dick Bucker just became a member. Johnny B. Good, great song. Rohan. Testing, Ermi, all become members today. Today, you guys are members. So welcome to the chat. Welcome to the family. Shalimar, holy shit, man. 30 votes. You're a butt boy. Oh, my God. I don't know what butt boy means. I really don't. I just feel like I've heard it on a cartoon when I was a kid. I have no idea what it means. I don't even want to look it up. And the fact that Raj is putting in answers scares me. Um... Wow, 94% Shalimar. What, do we have a bunch of pro-Israel people in here? Is this the Hasbara group? So does that mean that anti-Semites are going to join later? 94%? Oh my god, I think that means that most of the people in here are pro-Israel right now. Shalimar, you are a total little butt boy. Unfortunately for you. Um, <laughs> Dragon Fury said, hey man, it's been a while. I met you in Sri Lanka at the beach cleanup you organized. Oh, that's awesome. That's a totally different version of Tal. Long, long time ago. <laughs> that was a different time. Uh, I don't know who you are, but I don't. But I'm happy that you were there. I don't know who you, what your name is, but I'm happy that you were there, man. Uh, and I'm happy that you're back. Um, let's see here. Magnum Opus said, "Here in Italy, things are getting bad with the leftists. Can you explain? I'd love to understand more about it." Natalie said, "The beautiful Natalie said, we need to be on high alert this Ramadan." No room to take out attention away from Judea and Samaria. We need all eyes on Gaza, Judea, Samaria, and the north. I couldn't agree more, but I also think it's not going to help. I think we're fucked. I think it's uh, we're entering some really shitty territory right now. The fact that there were 100 rockets fired today uh, from Lebanon into Israel. One person was killed in the north. Zero international. Zero. Nobody is saying a word. America, the U.S. has not said anything. Nothing. There's zero attempt. I, it's the thing that boggles my mind the most. Why is Lebanon getting a free pass with zero condemnation? At least, like, 
the world had condemned Hamas for like a few days before they started becoming anti-Semitic. But Hezbollah, nothing. There's no condemnation. There's no nothing. Nobody is saying anything at all. So my question is, what's you? the world is not giving us any option. It's literally going to have to be a war. It's like a totally avoidable war. A 1,000% avoidable war. There's no hostages. There's nothing going on there that requires Israel to fight back. It could be, it could be 100% ended tomorrow. Today, right now. But nobody gives a fucking damn. I don't understand it. Can I zoom in? Look at me, I'm more dramatic now. Nobody gives a damn. You're gonna see all my imperfections. Stop, sweetie, stop looking at me. Oh, that's cool. I, <laughs> that's cool, I did a little zoom there. Maybe I should do those zooms more. Everybody told me this is like the millennial thing. Or is it the millennial or Gen Z? Yeah. It's the Gen Z Zoom. I invented this fucking Zoom. I invented this shit. Uh, oh my god damn. For the Zoom. Hey. Wow, long time no speak. Look at you. Hey, thanks for the super chat. That's a lot of money. Thank you so much. Wow, toda raba. Emil and I actually met in Miami once. I think you were here with your husband or something. I don't remember. Or in Miami with your husband. I remember when we met. That was years ago. Wow. That's awesome. Good to see you here. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate you a lot. Hell yeah, man. Joe Rogan's in the chat. Everybody. Holy shit. Joe Rogan's here. Can we get a bunch of clapping emojis for Joe Rogan? I'd love to go on your show, buddy. Let's get a bunch of claps for Joe. Let's get a bunch of clap emojis for Joe. Can I drop a clap emoji in here? Welcome the goat himself. Ro Jogan. Ro Jogan in the house. We're back. I'm not, internet's not taking me out today. Internet is not taking me out today. Not today. I bought an extra data package. We're good, right? Joe Rogan's in here. We're not losing it. We're not losing it. We're good, right? You guys can see me good right now? We're all Gucci? I think we're Gucci. We're Gucci. Okay. Joe Rogan, thanks for being here, man. We love you. Um, we're not losing it. No, we're good. We're getting to that. I want to pass the 160 today. I think we can do it. All right, let's see here. I was trying to read some of your comments. Um, comments. Um, okay, Jeff and Beville says, I think they're staying publicly quiet on Lebanon. Okay, Jeff and Beville says, I think they're staying publicly quiet on Lebanon, but pressuring the Lebanese government to control Hezbollah. And even then, no one will blame Israel for fighting back. They're staying publicly quiet on Lebanon, but pressuring the Lebanese government to control Hezbollah. Yeah, but the Lebanese government, there's, 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 they can't do anything. There's nothing for them to do. They can't, they, there's no government there to help. You know what I'm saying? It's like there, there's no international condemnation. So it's, uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing, there, that's not going to help. Still shocked about Joe Rogan. <laughs> Just to, so everybody's clear, it's not actually Joe Rogan, Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure there's no confusion. It's not actually Joe Rogan. <laughs> um, 143p. I saw 150. We dipped past 150 there for a second. Um, <laughs> Natalie, 154 people, including Joe Rogan. <laughs> yeah, no, for those of you guys who are confused, it's not actually Joe Rogan, right? Um S. Mavi says, I support Israel because, um, because a Muslim once told me to read the Quran and I did the entire first chapter and it was all anti-Semitism and he was specifically told me his Quran tells him to be against Jews. Yeah, this is the thing. I don't have a problem with Muslims. I don't have a problem with the Quran. But as a Jew, when you read the first chapter of the Quran, you read the first 20 pages of the Quran, there is a lot of Jew there, like a lot of like Jew stuff, a lot of anti-Jew sort of sentiment. It's, uh, it's a little bit concerning. And you can understand why it's very easy to radicalize a, radicalize a Muslim population, specifically 
against Jewish people in Israel. Because when you read the first chapter of the, the Quran, the first 20 pages, the word Israel and Jews are dropped like every three seconds. Like it's, it's insane. It's like every other word. And you can understand why, you know, there's a bit of hatred there. Because again, when you look at a Christian book or you look at a Jewish book, there's no mention of Muslims because they didn't exist back then. There was no Islam. So it's, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> the Capri Armour said, Amor said, y'all slower than sloths. Ain't no damn Joe Rogan in this live, the fuck? <laughs> I agree. I agree. I can't even, <laughs> I can't even say anything. I kind of agree. We only got Shalimar, the little butt boy in here. 83 votes. God damn, Shalimar, you took that one up the butt. Sorry, man. Um... All right, here we go. Let's read some more. Yeah, it's not the real Joe Rogan, just in case anybody was wondering. We're not th we're not there yet. I think we can get there, but we're not there. We're not there quite yet. Um Yeah, it's Ro Jogan. Neil Thompson says that's the whole point of the info war they started on Israel. It's to get allies to turn against each other and delegit delegitimize self defense. Yeah, it's in it's insane because I would like I had a conversation a couple weeks ago. I think I spoke about this. I had a viewer who I've known for a very long time, has been watching my channel for a long time, who called me a genocidal freak and a white colonizer, and she said, Israel is literally bombing Syria and Lebanon right now as we speak. I'm like what the fuck? What's it? I said, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, lady, what are you on? What are you actually on right now? What did you take that brought you to this point where you feel like Israel is the aggressor against Lebanon and fucking Syria? I was shocked. I was like, the audacity. Where do you get your information from? Like, is it a type of perspective where you just read news that everybody says, that, which is the type of person who probably reads Al Jazeera or listens to Al Jazeera videos. I'm like, that's the, I was like, how in the shit is that, how is that, how is that what's going on in your world? Happy Dill Pickle, obviously that I'm, <laughs> I'm behind a bit. Can I add my vote that Shalimar is a little butt baby too? Yes, you can definitely add that. We all always accept making fun of Shalimar. Rambling Root says, Hey, Tall, did you know that Israel armed, trained, and funded the military dictatorship in Guatemala that exterminated over 200,000 indigenous Mayan people, including members of my family? No, I didn't know about this, but I think, I think I've heard similar things about the Israeli army. Um that they've armed and trained different groups all over the world. Like it, there's been problems with uh, groups in, uh, in Africa and there's been problems with groups in the Middle East. I mean, you could even say there's certain elements of them that they funded uh, uh, Hamas itself. Um, that I think if you bring that up as a perspective to sort of like shit on Israel, that doesn't make the people who are actually committing the attacks any less horrible than they actually are. And in my opinion, that doesn't take away from the fact that at its core, the IDF is actually trying to do something productive, which is defend its people in this country. Obviously, a government and an army are like an octopus that has a bunch of tentacles and it goes to a bunch of different places. Yecheska says it sounds like blood libel. I don't know. I haven't heard about it. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, put it past the Israeli army and the Israeli government to do something like that because... You know, there's interests here, weapons are sold, training is done all over the world by Israel. And then the people who go on and do things with that training, I mean, that's not Israel doing that stuff, you know? Like, I mean, there's groups in Africa that Israel has been training for years now. Um, and groups all over the world, it's been training the Philippines. If the Philippines tomorrow has a civil war and starts committing a genocide, not that it would, but if it does, does that make Israel responsible for that? I mean, I guess you could put an element of responsibility because they're the one who trained it, but it's not... Israel who's doing that stuff, you know? Israel definitely funds Hamas. We saw earlier this year with the Jewish tunnels in New York. Yes, the tunnels in Chabad in 770 were actually part of the Hamas terror network, um, if you didn't know. Um, 
Chabad and Hamas, they work very, cha, cha, you know, they work very closely together, if you didn't know. <laughs> Francine Brashir Marzis says, all the free Palestine protesters, po protesters are social LARPers, socialist LARPers. I kind of agree with that. There's this guy, his name is Greg J. Stoker. This is the cringiest account on Instagram. I highly suggest you look at it. This guy is LARPing as a Palestinian. If you guys know what LARPing means, it's a it's a gaming term from back in the day that's live action role playing. Um, well, I don't know if it's a gaming term. It's like a, it's like a term of somebody who's like pretending to be a character in real life. This guy, Greg, is, is like this white American guy, he says that he was in the army, I'm sure he was. Uh, and he's like become like a like a free Palestine icon when the poor kid who had you know a severe mental illness and committed suicide by burning himself in front of the Israeli embassy he was like all about like this is freedom and this is so good and all the Palestinians around him and the Arabs like the fucking crazy people are like he's he died as a freedom fighter symbol of Palestine I'm like what the fuck is going on what how how are these people in the same reality that we're in? What is going on with them? Um, Jacob, thank you so much. This is your fifth super chat, $20. You're always dropping down the big bucks. You're always getting us to $100. We're almost at $100. bucks. we are at $83 in the super chats today. So thank you, Jacob. Saw last night an American International Religious Freedom Group were in Saudi and left and left early because the rabbi was asked to remove his kippah in public. Fucked up. At least I've got you and Philip and food to cheer me up. Toda. Yeah, even though, look, look, Jacob, I can't. First of all, thank you for the super chat. I can't give too much shit for Sa to Saudi Arabia because, because they're in the right direction. I feel like with us too. They're realizing that there's a, a power imbalance here. Um, and, and, and they're actively trying to well they're actively trying to save their asses from the terrorism of iran and they don't want to deal with that shit but in inadvertently they're helping us as well um so i can't give them too much shit but yeah this is a problem but this is a problem around the entire muslim world there's no freedom of religion anywhere anywhere in the muslim world there's no freedom of religion and so you know in dubai i guess it, like the uae is the closest thing you can but it's not real freedom of religion um there's, there's elements to it, but it's not really freedom of religion. Um, Bruce says, but thank you anyways, uh, Jacob. Appreciate your super chat, man. Thank you so much. Uh, Aaron Bushnell, a, t a tragedy. I think it's so sad that he felt the need to commit suicide over a cause that he definitely didn't understand. Um, and I hate the fact that people are using his suicide of setting himself on fire as a good example for what like protesting means. People were saying he... He protested at, protested at the highest price. I'm like, D -d -d what is going on? Like, what is it? What the fuck is the world coming to? By the way, sustainably holding 150 people in the live chat right now. I'm so proud of us, guys. Thank you so much. I feel bad for the guy. I really do. Aaron, it's a tragedy with Aaron. Uh, it's very sad that that happened. It, and it didn't do anything. It didn't free Palestine. Didn't bring any good extra attention to the cause. It literally... He died in vain. Like that's the, he died in vain. It's not gonna even change anything. It's and it's a sad reality. It's sad for his family. It's sad for his friends. Really sad for him. Uh, Terry Bogard. Oh, I love you, Terry. You were here a little while ago, or yes, the other day. Didn't you super chat? A good. You super chatted a lot of money. I think last time, no? Or you said something really funny. I can't remember exactly. The guy who said Israeli hummus is better than Lebanese hummus. I want to tell him that Israel and Lebanon should be friends and allies, have no wars between each other, not to be enemies. Yes, but I agree. Israeli hummus is far superior than Lebanese hummus. Israeli hummus period is far superior than most Arab hummus. I gotta be honest. Whatever you want to say bullshit, Israel stole the food, I don't care. They make it better. They make it better. It's a reality. They do make it better. It just is. Knafe, I'll give the Arabs all day. The knafe in the Arab world, unbelievable. We don't even get fucking remotely close. The hummus, it's ours. The sabich, well, the sabich is not really there. The falafel, I think it's questionable. Egyptians do it pretty good. But hummus, we got that shit on lock. I don't know if there's anybody better. 
It's hummus best when cold or warm. Only warm, dude. Cold hummus is fucking strange. You can only really eat cold hummus on Shabbat in like the evening. 160 people in the chat. Let's get 160. In Taibe, near Netanya, I ate the best hummus, but it's in Arab. It's in Israel, though. Yeah, look, I've had good Arab hummus. I just think the Jews make hummus really, really good. And we got our shit on lock with that. I think there's also some sort of biblical story about hummus. I remember people people told me that you can find the uh, quotes of the hummus in the Old Testament, in the Torah. I, I was swear back in the day you see hummus. How are we already an hour in? Oh, wow. No, no, we're not. Because I started 15 minutes later because of the music. We're getting to 160 today, guys. We're definitely getting to 160. I'd love to get to 200. Uh, Terry says, it's okay. Everybody love the food he wants, but I'm talking about Israel and Lebanon should be friends and allies, not enemy. Of course. Of course, but this is what Muslim extremism does to the world. It doesn't allow. Look at all the countries who have made peace with Israel. They're flourishing. Am I, am I good? All right, guys, I'm, God damn it, we lost so many people again. God damn it. We'll get them. We'll get them back. I want to pass the 170 today. Um, I was talking about, what was I talking about? Can somebody remind me? I was talking about something. I was talking about, what was I talking about? What was I talking about, mate? I cannot remember. Haley Hassan. That's a new name. Thanks for being a member, Haley. Religion, hummus. Religion, hummus. Come, come. I'm not. I'm using a eSIM. I'm not. I'm using a eSIM. Oh, good. We got 160, 160 people back. Hey, we served 164. Here we are. Look at it happen so casually. Oh my God, you guys are amazing. Shakshuka, someone's homeless. Lebanese. What was I? What was I talking about? Homos? Was it only homos? I felt like I was getting into something political. I can't remember. Anyways, I forgot what I was going to say. It said, bro, if you come near Netanya, go to Homos Uzi. He's Iraqi and makes crazy homos with tons of spices. Sounds good. Sounds really good, actually. Sounds great. Ah, Lebanon and extremism. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you so much. Thank you for getting my back, bro. Appreciate you. Um, Vasil said, did Joe Rogan really say he wanted you on a show? Yes. Right, everybody? Can everybody confirm that Joe Rogan in the chat, please, for our friend Vaisel? Please let him know that Joe Rogan was actually here and wanted us. Please, everybody, my army of friends down here in the chat, please confirm. Um, I would need you guys to hit me with a nice yes. Joe Rogan was here. Um... Uh, yeah, so I think Lebanon... Lebanon... It doesn't even make any sense what's going on there. It's like the, the country that's the least radicalized. And that's the problem is that the Muslim extremism, it doesn't allow you to progress in life. Every, every country, like Qatar, that was the exact example I was bringing up. Qatar, Qatar, is, it, you, it, surface level, it seems like everything is good and it's progressed and whatever. But literally, it's fucking hosting the heads of Hamas, like actual terrorists in its country and it's the only asylum that they have they have issues with so many countries because of their, their stupid reporting of al jazeera promotes the idea of radical islamic terrorism all over the world and normalizes it the second you step away from islamic extremism your life and country gets better holy shit we've hit a hundred and nine dollars in super chats 1999 great british pounds by asa asa said israel is the only country in the world that bears the same name speaks the same language upholds the same faith and inhabits the same land as it did three thousand years ago amen brother or sister i can't tell what you are you have a little lion statue as your emoji thank you for the super chat i appreciate you again and very true statement very very true statement um so yeah guys using the power of the super chats i'm gonna get on joe rogan that's what's gonna happen. Oh shit! Wait, <laughs> anti semite alert. <laughs> I can't. I really like that. Wait, Shayna, can I make you a moderator? And Natalie, okay. Managing standard moderator can review and remove chat messages or hide put users in ch safe chat. Okay, Shayna, Natalie, 
listen i'm upgrading both of you guys because i love you so much you guys are amazing i'm upgrading you guys to moderators alongside jack jack is the actual like he can do bigger things i'm just making you standard moderators do not take anybody out of the chat that's the one condition don't remove anybody don't delete anybody's comments but if you feel like it, I feel like it would be funny to put this little well, same thing that Shayna just did, the anti-Semite alert with the little siren thing. Every time you guys see an anti-Semite and put their name, I would love it. And you guys will get the little moderator symbol. So if you're down with it, I gave you the moderation. Don't abuse the power, please. You guys are the first people I'm trusting with this besides Jack. <laughs> Natalie reporting to duty. What's the mission? <laughs> Oh, uh, you guys are the best, man. You guys are so good. Um, hey, Fishman Official, welcome. Yeah, Jack, keep Natalie and Shayna in check, right? Don't let them delete people's comments. I don't trust them 100% yet. I feel like they're going to abuse their power. <laughs> We're going to be like every regime. We're going to have some corrupt, <laughs> corrupt cops, Natalie and Shayna, going around booting people out of the fucking chat. <laughs> Don't abuse your power, all right? Just warn us of anti-Semites so we can make fun of them. I appreciate that. Um, Se Salem said, Salem or Salem? Why does Israel love killing innocent civilians? You know, it's a thing. Like we, we just, I think it's, I just think that it's in us, you know? Like it's in us Jews to just love to kill people. It's like one of our favorite things in the world. Uh, it's part of our religion, part of our belief system. And we're also all white colonizers. As you can see, my skin here, white, white as day. Same, see my teeth? White, skin, white, same. Uh, it's, it's what we like to do. Um, Bruce Risen said, technically anti-Semites include the Muslims. Yeah, only when it's comfortable for the Muslims though. All other times is Islamophobia, but somehow anti-Semites also includes the Muslims when it's comfortable for them, so that's good. It's funny, like, we Jews, we're not allowed to have anything. You can't ever have anything. If it's anti-Semitism, it's like, you're not allowed to, like, if you're anti-Semitism, you're also being anti I can't be anti-Semitic, I'm an Arab. I'm also a Semitic people. But, but as a Jew, you're not allowed to have anything. Vasil says, bro, you gotta go on the show. Yeah, dude, Joe Rogan's here, we're gonna work it out. I'm waiting for him to email me. Don't time out anyone, Shayna. No. No. Only warn us of anti-Semites. I just think it would be funny if it came from moderator status. That's it. Don't remove anyone. Don't, don't do anything. We have freedom of speech here. We have freedom of speech. If, we, if somebody is being super, super annoying, we'll take a vote uh, together and we'll say that we boot him out and then we can boot him out. Because only if it interrupts you guys. If not, it's more engagement for the chat. It's good stuff. It's just, there's no... Yeah. Salem said, you all are truly brainwashed. Explain how we are brainwashed. I'd love to hear from you, Salem. You're welcome to say, say your stupid piece. Um, Haley says, I also speak Mandarin, which was simplified because of Mao's attempt to increase the literacy rate. It's not the same, and the CR was a, attempted to eradicate Confucius' beliefs. Zhao Go. Okay. I don't... I might have missed something. I didn't understand the relevancy, but thank you for the information. <laughs> didn't <laughs> yeah wow i don't really even know how to react <laughs> um terry bogart says actually you look brown to me not white no no i am a white colonizer you can see the skin can you see the skin color look at the face look at the acne scars here take a zoom you see the melanin look at the brown eyes look the beard the smile the nose hairs you see the nose hairs that's a white colonizer. That's the white. I'm white. That's the white. Um, yes, Shayna and Natalie just got a free promotion. They're now part of uh, the official uh, alert squad of anti-Semites. So we can attack. You look like someone from Basra. Yeah, well, look. This is my great-grandma. She was from Basra. That's my great-grandma, Habiba. She was born in Basra, Iraq. Believe it or not. So, I got them Basra's. I got them Basra's jeans. Bruce says tall is actually African. It's true. I'm everything. 
I'm everything and anything you want me to be. Whatever label you want to, I'm a Jew, so it doesn't really matter. Whatever label you want to be, you want to put me like a Nazi, I can be a Nazi. If I'm a genocidal freak, I'm a genocidal freak, a white colonizer, I can be that. I can be African, I can be indigenous, non-indigenous, I can be American, not American. Whatever you want to label me, I'm a Jew, so you're allowed to say whatever you want to me. That's how it works in this world, folks, if you didn't know. <laughs> Raj. <laughs> oh, Raj. <laughs> yes, Israel has finally found my final identity. I'm an Indian scammer. Do you know about this? That I am actually... I am the curry thief. You watch out. You watch out. Because I will take everything. Ethnically non-monogamous is my term, Natalie. That's what I like to... That's how I... That's my pronoun, is ethnically non-monogamous. That's how I introduce myself. Um, folks, I don't, know, I don't know what's going to happen this month, but I'm genuinely afraid. I'm, uh, I'm roaming around in extreme caution these days. Uh, it's the, the terror attack that was thwarted yesterday really irks me. It scares the fuck out of me. Because I'm only imagining that's just one that was stopped... They're mu they must be attempting to do more, and there's no doubt in my mind that one of them, God forbid, will be successful. And that really freaks me out. It really, really scares me. Yechezke says, I've been working from home this week. Yeah, man, I, I feel you, Chezi. I feel you 100%. It's a scary, scary, scary place. Um, it's a scary, scary place to be for right now for all of us because we just don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. And I hate not knowing, you know, like I hate, I hate not knowing where this is going to go. It's very, very scary. It's terrifying, actually. I recorded a really, really cool video for you guys today, a little bit more about my family history. It was a video, a video idea I got from my good friend, uh, Corey from the Ask, uh, Ask Project. Corey Gill Schuster is a great, great, great YouTuber. Highly recommend you guys check it out. But um, yeah, check out his channel. And then tomorrow, tomorrow, 3 p.m., 2 or 3 p.m., you guys will have that video. I'm going to edit it for you tonight. I went to a really special location to film it as well. Uh, Joanne Miki Saka said, I haven't seen anything about an attack that was stopped. What happened? We talked about it earlier, but, it, but basically... Um, there was a big terrorist attack that was supposed to come out of the city of Jenin in the West Bank. And uh, the Israeli Shabak and Mistelvim, which are the ones who hide amongst the Arabs speaking their language, um, they managed to thwart it, to stop it. But it was going to be a suicide attack. <laughs> I love this. Oh, my God. Shayna, Natalie, this is the best thing in the world. Natalie, next time you do it, do you mind putting a siren just like you did now at the beginning and at the end of the thing if it's not too much trouble? I love that. It gets my attention so well, and I can call them out. I fucking love that. This is so good. You guys are great. Shayna and Natalie are the freaking best. I love you guys. You're you're amazing. Um, so yeah, Corey gave me the idea for that video. He's great too. I love I love Corey. I've been following him since I was like 15, and we became friends, which was the coolest thing in the world. Mars Mello said, "Tell me how how is it fair to be scared to walk around in your own country?" Well, look, there's a lot of countries where there's there's problems internally where people are afraid to walk around in certain areas. But right now, it's this, like, because Israel is so not an apartheid state, and because Arabs have freedom to, to roam around the, all of Israel, especially if they're citizens of this country, not just the ones in the West Bank, they don't really have that much freedom. But the ones within Israel have freedom to go wherever they want, because they're equal citizens like everybody else. Because of that reason, and I'm not saying that we should limit it or anything, because of that reason, it's, it's super, super scary right now, because you never know who's involved. You never know who's an extremist. There's no way to tell. And that's actually what these terrorist groups are trying to do, is they're trying to terrorize us from the inside. They're trying to, to scare us to the point, you know, to, to that point, to make us feel like nowhere we go is safe. And you know what? On my end, it's fucking working. It's, it's working great. Thank you, Natalie. Who's this Salem? Oh, Salem Saeed. Salem, should we make fun of him? Let's do a poll. I think we make a poll. 150 people in the chat, it's time. Is Salem a small butt boy? What do you guys think? I think he's a small butt boy, in my personal opinion. 
My computer is going to die and I don't have a plug. So I'm going to lose my ability to chat. All right, here's the deal. When this goes down, 165 people in the chat. Holy shit. Can we get to 170? Ah, oh, damn, we lost. Damn it. Damn it. Whoa, somebody in here is with a fucked up name. Ah, I got to be careful not to say that name by accident. I'm going to get canceled. Um, holy shit, man. Another 19 pounds dropped in here. $134 in super chats. This is crazy. You guys keep getting me $200 in super chats every stream we do. You're fully funding the channel in super chats right now. It's unbelievable. I, I, every time I come in and I think it's not going to happen. Uh, no, I'm not going to ban you. I'm just going to be really careful not to say your name out. Um, I'm really going to be careful to not say your name out loud because I don't want to get canceled because it's a t terrible name. Um, ASA said they colonized Lebanon. They're colonizing Turkey. They're colonizing Iran. They're colonizing Somalia. They can't colonize Israel. It drives them crazy. Hashtag nut jobs. Buy something for your bubby for me, please. Oh, great. You are, you pretty much paid for. I bought her last night. Uh, I think I'll show, I didn't upload on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. If you guys don't, by the way, just consider yourself that your debt has already been paid. All right. The, or the money that you send me already been paid. Cause yesterday I bought Safta. I try to get her every like once in a week. I get her baklava. She loves it. And nobody gets it for her anymore. This was last night. So thank you, ASA. This was paid from you. And it was really cute. Then she started choking on it. <laughs> she ate it too quickly. Look how adorable. I love her so much. Baklava. So thank you. You paid for that. Thank you. Um, and holy shit, we got another super chat for $19.99. Damn, $50 away from $200, guys. Or 50 bucks away. You guys are crazy. It is Joanne like Joanne of Ark. But a lot of people say Joanne. Thanks for answering. Jo a lot of people say Joanne. I don't know what Joanne of Ark is. But thank you for being here, Joanne. Oh, Joan. Oh, Joan, Joan. Sorry, Joan. Not Joanne. Joan. Again, I'm I'm all about the the name the name that's in here that's really fucked up. I'm all I, I'm a free speech sort of guy, so I can't you know I can't uh, I can't tell him to change his name. I'm just gonna actively try to not say his name, but I believe he has the right to have the name. You know, I can't I can't say anything bad to him about that. He should have the name if he wants the name. You know, that's the the point of the website. It's freedom, but uh, but I just won't say it. I don't want to say it. I don't want to get canceled. Namco says, hey, Namco, welcome. I haven't heard from you in a while. Thanks for being a member. Thanks for being here. Happy you're here. Namco said security officials have stated that the attack was intended to be a suicide attack in central Tel Aviv, carried out with an exceptionally powerful explosive device. You see, that shit is the stuff that sh fucking makes me shiver, man, because I'm like, it, you never know where and when it's going to happen. It can happen anywhere. And it's, it's driving me crazy. It, on their end, it's fucking genius, man. It's so smart because... Jeff and see you, man. Thanks for being here. Shalom, shalom. Um, it's genius from their perspective because all they want to do is run the divide between Arabs and Jews deeper. They want Jews to be afraid of Arabs. That's what they want. They, they really want it. And that shit scares me because now I hate it. I really hate it. And I try to always take people, um, I try to always take people, you know, at, at, at face value and get to know them and never judge anybody from the outside cover. But every time that I meet an Arab now on the street, or I see an Arab on the street, I'm always like in the back of my head, I'm thinking because you never know, like you never know what's going to happen. And it's, they're doing it. The terrorists are doing it so smart because it's exactly what they want out of the country. It's exactly what they want people to think and feel. This is the, the eternal cycle that we're stuck in of racism and extremism that causes the problems. Chazak Tal, thank you so much. You're Chazak as well. Appreciate you for being here. Blue, Blue Lantern says, I've been friends with multiple Muslims in my life. They hate Jay. You mean they hate Jews? Is that what you wanted to say? Be careful talking about suicide. YouTube will ban your account. I don't think they'll ban my, attack, uh, my account, but at this point, they just keep, they keep demonetizing all my live streams, which is honestly fine. You guys are paying me more through Super Chats that it's like, you guys are paying for my week's worth of videos. Like, 
my videos on average, just if you guys know what the views I'm getting, they like get around like ten to fifteen dollars a video. So like when I go out and make a video, I'm not making much money. But the super the super chats are literally paying for the entire works the week's worth of content that I'm making. So you guys are making up for it during super chats of every live stream. Um, I, what I was saying, by the way, in a minute, my computer is probably going to turn off. So I'm going to lose access to reading all the live chat because on my phone, it's limited. Uh, but so if you guys do super chat, then I'll for sure see your message. But I'll try my best to answer the questions through the screen. I'll just be annoying because I'll be tapping. But it is what it is. We're on a budget. We don't have a we don't have a studio yet. I had a dream the other day. I was like, if I actually end up staying to live here in Israel and properly do this, it would be so cool to build like a proper studio, have guests come on to these live streams like do like a weekly one really take the shit to the next level because you guys really love it and um yeah it would be dope to build some sort of studio out make it make it look proper um <laughs> natalie all right natalie you don't have to do it you don't have to do it every time <laughs> i got it the first time i you know it's it we're gonna figure this out together we'll figure out the space i think once or twice this is good Speed him of Freach, exactly, Israel. Unicorn 1620 says, March 2002 of Second Intifada was horrible with the suicide attacks. Been covering it covering it in shorts on my channel. Not this account, a different one from my channel. What's your channel, man? Let's give you a shout out. I'm happy that you're doing that. I would love to give you a shout out there. You guys are amazing. It's like so funny. Every time I feel like I'm left out of the live chat, you guys just have conversations on your own. There's so many people adding each other. I feel like I'm left out of the conversation completely. I'm just here. You guys go on. Go on. Have your conversation. Ignore me. I'm just the freaking YouTuber. Ignore me. I'm just joking. I'm happy that you guys converse with each other. It's super cool. Blue Lantern says, I've never met a Jewish person who hated Muslims. But most Muslim men I've wa I've teach but most Muslim men I've met teach their children to hate Jewish. It's crazy, even super nice Muslims. I don't understand it. Again, I think, I think it's what we spoke about. I don't think that every Muslim hates Jewish people. And there's a lot of Muslims who love Jewish people. A lot of them live here in Israel because we work together. We live together on a day-to-day -day basis. But I do believe that in the Quran, there's a lot of stuff that's very um, negative towards Am Yisrael, to the Israelites of Bnei Yisrael, they call them. And Bnei Israel. That's how they say Israel. Um, and uh, and Jews in general in the Quran and so it's very easy as a Muslim to fall into the trap of hating Jewish people without you know without ever knowing a Jewish person on the contrary for Jews we don't it's like it's not that we don't care like we don't care about them but it's like we don't care about Islam because it's not in our belief system it's like we don't have no reason to hate like in in the Quran Jews in Bnei Israel are mentioned so many times in the, in the Christianity, in the, in, the, oh, in the New Testament, Jews are mentioned so many times. But in Judaism, none of these people are mentioned. There's no mention because we don't fucking care. Live your goddamn life. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. This is the problem. It's, a main, it's, a, it's an issue. It's like you need to, you need to finesse the, your religion around your way of life and the world you live in. We don't live in the Stone Age anymore. You can't go around raping and pillaging people and doing whatever you want in this world. There's a certain... There's a certain context to life. You can't just go around and do whatever you want to do, whenever you want to do it. So you need to, you have to do a nuance into your, into your uh, religion. Salem seems like Salem's a butt boy. 86 votes, nine minutes ago. He's a butt boy. He might be the buttest boy around. Um... Blue Lantern, in Christianity, we were never taught to hate anyone. We were taught it's a commandment to love everyone, no matter religion. Yeah, I think that that's an interpretation of Christianity. And it's great that that's the global Christianity has come to that point now, where there's a general consensus of love between global Christians of many religious groups, no matter who you are. I think generally the most combative between the two are Christians and Muslims, mostly Christians in the West and Muslims in the East. That sort of bust butt heads a bit now, but there's still not hatred. There's and yes, that's what Namco said. It's called eliminated. You you fucking de-radicalized. At some point in history, Christians were super radical and they killed anybody that wasn't Christian and mass converted them. Islam is going through that phase and hasn't come to the other side yet. 
And that's a problem, is that there's too many Muslims in this world who are radical. Too many Muslims who believe that this is the only way that life should be lived. And if you're not a Muslim, you don't deserve to live. And that's a really, really big problem. Harry Potter says that, Harry Potter head said, Jew, Jew, you Jew? Wait, you Christian? No, I'm not Christian, I'm a Jew. I'm one of the Jews. Han Anderson says they get to ta they get taught to distrust Jews. Mo told his followers that Jews betrayed the Muslims and tried to kill him. I have no idea. Oh, Muslims! <laughs> what I was gonna say, Han, I have no fucking idea what a Muslim is. <laughs> oh my god, Muslim. Mo to Muhammad told his followers that Jews betrayed the the Muslims and tried to kill him. This is the thing is like that it's always been my my issue with Islam is like there's so much mention of our people in that book but we have zero mention of their people in our book so it under like it makes sense the extreme hatred and racism that they have towards Jewish people not all Muslims obviously but as a consensus because but it's like it's like this thing where there's like a person right there's a person standing here not giving a fuck about anybody around them and then there's a person who's obsessed with this person but this person, for all of eternity, no matter what, will stop and will never give a fuck about this person. And again, it's not in the sense of like not giving a fuck because you don't like you, I don't care for you. It's like because you it doesn't there's so many things going around. I don't care about you. Like you don't you're not you're nothing to me. And again, not in a bad way. It's just like I have no quarrel with you, I have nothing good with you, I have nothing bad with you. I just don't care. Like your existence doesn't it doesn't mean anything good to me, it doesn't mean anything bad to me. You're just a person. But on this side, this person is obsessed with this person. Always wants to just know and do and see and, and, and believe and this and that. That's a problem. The being becoming said, Islam is just a bad Xerox mashup of Judaism and Christianity. It's a prime example of cultural appropriation. There's an element to be said with that. But I think Islam, if you look at Sufi Islam, which a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of Muslims just disregard as being not real or not a real branch of Islam, that... You know, you see Sufi Muslims and they're like, oh shit, this is an amazing way to practice this religion. There's a lot of beauty that can come with it. But unfortunately, it's like seen in the Muslim world as like, a, like you know, somebody who's going against mainstream Islam. Betsy Brennan hitting this up with 1999, my love. I love you so much, Betsy. She brought us up to $174 in the stream. God damn it. Every day when I go on my end, oh, my computer turned off. God damn it. Thank you, Betsy. I love you. All right, I'm back to I'm back to phone. I'm just looking at this thing now with the phone. So if you guys want me to answer questions, burning questions, super chat my shit. Let's get up to two hundred dollars today, guys. Let's super chat in spite of the anti semites if they ever arrive. I won't. I don't think I'll be able to do any polls today anymore. By the way, because can I do a poll? Yeah, I don't know if I can do another poll. Um, all right. Half Moon says, well, duh, you have no mention of us in your book because Islam came after Judaism. How would they be in your book? But that's exactly the point I'm trying to make. That's exactly the point I'm trying to make is that we don't have any mention because we came first, right? So that's like a respectable position to be at. You came after and your book and religion has so much against us. It's unfair. It's an unfair obsession that we have no control over. Namco, hit me up with $4.99 for the fun. God bless you, man. We're $181, folks. You guys are dope. You're the best. Israel Tavor said, this is also mutil mutilism Islam that is very cool. There is ex was extinct for centuries, but there's a revival of it. Mutazilism? Mut Can you explain what that is? Shalimar. So many things I want to say, I'm just going to stop. <laughs> I don't want to get banned from YouTube. <laughs> I want to control myself. As I said, if the Babylonians were still around, would you still hate them, though, as a Jew? I don't think I have any hatred in my heart for anybody, to be honest with you. I don't have hatred for anybody. I don't know if I necessarily would hate the Babylonians. I think what they did was awful. But I understand that the game back then was different. We live in a different world. And by, by all means, you could say that technically I'm Babylonian. And I, and I know friends and I have people that I've connected with that are Iraqi. 
We could say that they're Babylonian, so they're kind of still around. Misogynist alert. Natalie, let's keep it to just... Let's keep it just anti-Semite, all right? <laughs> Please. <laughs> let's just keep it anti-Semite alert. Haley Hassan said, $10. Thank you so much. By the way, we're $193. Folks. Oh, no, I lost your comment. Judaism is about the individual. It is self-reflective, a personal connection with Hashem. Islam is word by word or or by sword or by text. Check out the jizya. Jews hate idols. Jews hate idols. Mo idolized money and power. Look, my prerogative, I think a lot of... Doug, hit me with the shally, my little anti-semi. <laughs> little anti-semi. <laughs> $193 in the chat, folks. We're almost there. Crazy that we're going to do 200 every chat. A fucking insane. Um, da, 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 da. Haley, what you were saying. I, I My, 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 uh, what's it called? My prerogative is never to shit on Muhammad or to say anything bad about the prophets of Islam. Because that's, it's not my point, but the idea is, and again, I, if I say this about Islam, I have to say it about Christianity too. It's a two-way street here. Both of these religions were made and bred for power, for political power, for violence, for war, and for control. It's clear as day. To convert to Christianity is very easy. To convert to Islam is very easy. To convert to Judaism is extremely difficult. One one of them, one of these religions between the three of the Abrahamic religions doesn't give a shit about you from the get-go. Doesn't want you, doesn't want anything from you. You live your life, stay in your corner, live a happy life, do your things. There's the optional, keep the seven Noahide laws and you get to heaven, but that's your interpretation and you don't have to do it. Stay in your corner. If you want to become one of us, we're going to make you work for it. Islam and Christianity Baptize your Christian, say the say the sentence in Islam, you're a Muslim. Obviously, you have to practice the way of life and everything, but that's it. That's it. It's meant to control. It's meant to breed. And, and that's a reality. If you find a belief in it and you find a connection to God via those ways of life, beautiful. I, I'm all about it. I love it. I'm so impressed by that, too. I, I love when people are able to find God via Christianity and Islam. I love that they... Like it's, it, it's hard for me personally too, because I've read both books as much as I could. I've learned a lot about both religions and I find like, it's hard for me personally too. But if people are able to find God, to find something bigger than them, um, so happy for the people who do. But there's no denying that the reasons that they came about and you see this through history was to control mass populations of people. And it's worked very, very well. And again, yes, there you go. Shana saying, Jews are not a religion. Jews are an ancient nation of people. It's Judaism, you join the people, not a religion. Exactly. It's not a, a religion. It's an ethno-religion. It's, eth it's a religion that's, that's locked to a piece of land. It's the same exact concept as Native Americans. Native Americans have land that they are attached to. And, and, well, 164 people in the chat. Are we going to get to 170? Can I get a 170 up in this chat? Please, I would love that. I'd be so happy. Um, Native Americans, they're landlocked. 171 minutes, we did it! Holy shit, we broke a record, folks. Yeah, we did it. We fucking did it, folks. Can we get high fives? High fucking five, we did it. We beat a personal record today, folks. I love you guys, you guys are the best. I love you guys. Um, I'm gonna celebrate with some baklava with Safta after this. Damn, unicorn, hit me with that unicorn fart. Channel is called Middle East Fast Facts. Thanks for all you do. Very glad I found your channel. Blessings to you and your fam. You know what we're going to do? First of all, thank you for super chatting. That's one. We're going to give you a little shout out on stream right now. Because you just got us up to $198 on stream. $198. Bucks. Let's look this up. What was your channel called? Middle East Fast Facts. Not only am I going to subscribe. Middle East Fast Facts. But we're going to give you a little... 49 subscribers. Just launched... Should the should port Houthis in Yemen? Let's see their most popular video. They chant from the river to the sea, but what does this actually mean? The river they're talking about is the River Jordan. Love this. Here. Love this. This is dope, man. 
I love this. In their 2017 constitution. Klatz, can we go give him a bunch of support? Can we go give this guy a bunch of support? I'm subscribed. Middle East Fast Facts. Just super chatted us five bucks. Supporting the channel. Supporting Israel. Let's go give him some love. Middle East Fast Facts. Dope. You are so awesome for making that. I'm going to be watching your shorts later. Happy to see that. Asa gave me 19 pounds. Hell yeah. We're at $223. We freaking did it. Thank you so much, Asa. There is a light in the in the Jews that darkness is scared of. There is a light in the Jews. Oh, missed. It's going up. Jews that, that good of humanity. God damn it. There is. Fuck, it's hard to do on your phone. There is a light in the Jews that the darkness is scared of. There is a light in the Jews that the good of humanity loves and the evil of humanity hates. 1948, the Jews returned to to turn the desert into paradise. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing you wrote there, Asa. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for sending literally 60, more than 60 pounds, or six, more than $60, 60 pounds during this live chat. I appreciate you a lot. That's freaking amazing. Thank you. Um, appreciate that a lot, Asa. Thank you. Is it Asa, A-S-A? -A? What should I say? I feel bad saying Asa, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Half Moon says, okay, let's read. Let's see. We're all here. We're here about opinions. We want to hear. We want to hear. <laughs> nice, Natalie. Get his ass. Gambino. <laughs> Great one, Natalie. Half Moon says, we make the religion easy to convert to because religion is supposed to be easy, a simple way of life. Why would you want to make it why would you want to make it hard to convert to religion that you believe is the truth? Because it's not about that. That's not what a religion is. The religion should not be easy to convert to. It's a belief system that takes community, your community with God. That's the idea. It's communal. It's people you trust and believe in with God. When you look at Jews globally, there are very few Jews that don't have community in this world. Obviously, there's some. There's exceptions to the rule. But there's so many Jews who have this immense sense of community. That's one of the most amazing things about being a Jew is that you have community. Christians, there's Christians all over the world. And who gives a fuck? If one Christian dies, another Christian dies, they don't care. It's not like people are sending money in droves to support other Christians. How many poor Jews do you know in this world? There's obviously poor Jews in this world. But how many Jews do you see on the street poor or dying? It doesn't happen so frequently because we take care of each other. It's like a mafia. Like when something like this happens, a Jews will come together. Obviously, there's exceptions to the rule, yeah? But Jews will come together to help Jews live. And that's the idea of community. It shouldn't be something, it's not a way of life or religion that should be, you know, taking over the world. I don't think if the entire world was Jewish, it would be amazing because that's not the point of it. Interesting says, Jews don't make it hard. God makes the rules. If you want it easy, you can be good, a good non-Jew and go to heaven. Also true. Also true, 100%. I want to read what he said. Perhaps... Personally, if I was interested in Judaism, the whole process would throw me off knowing how excluded the community is. It's not excluded, though. Jews welcome and accept everybody of all walks, of all of all faiths. You should see my synagogue in the Philippines that I help put together. Doesn't matter. We have non-Jews who sit with us every day. They come to learn the Torah. It doesn't matter. They come eat kosher food with us. They come to meals. We have a great time. It's not about excluding. It's about if you want to be a part of this, it's a responsibility. We don't let everybody in. It's the same thing as if you wanted to join a Native American tribe right now. In America, would it put you off that the requirements to joining that tribe would be hard? They'd make you go through some sort of, you know, uh, experience. You'd have to prove yourself in some sort of thing, in some sort of way. Would that put you off or would you look at it like, oh, fuck, that's really cool. Because these people have their set way of life and they don't want to just let anybody live that life. You have to work for it to get in. That's the same exact idea with Judaism. You Technically, anybody can convert to Judaism, but we put you off because you don't need to. You don't need to to be a good person. You don't need to be a Jew to become, uh, to become a. Next video idea is joining a native tribe. <laughs> You're not shadow banned, Omega. I saw your comment earlier. I just forgot to react to it. Uh, we can take a vote, but I can't do the polls anymore because I'm on my phone now. Oh, I can do a poll. I don't want to kick people out. Though. I'll be honest with you, Omega. I got to be honest. With you. I really don't want to kick people out. If, if it's a mass consensus of people saying that it's a. Uh, they're really bothered by the people, then I'll, I'll do it. But I really don't like kicking people out. S. Mavi said, you should allow calls into the streams. I'd love to see people argue with you or agree. 
Yeah, I don't know if I'm personally prepared for that yet. Cowpoke said, hi, tall. Thank you, by the way, for the super chat. I didn't even say thank you. Thank you for the $5, Smavi. I appreciate you a lot. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm ready to do the, like the live arguments with people. It's a lot easier to do this over this format. I'm not sure if I... It, also, connection issues are a problem, too. Things that connected and disconnected, and I have to choose like a time and amount of time that the people are on for. Um, stream call ins now, lol. Should we do one? You know who? If I do somebody, I'll do. I have to do. There's only one I could do, and I'm scared to do it because uh, because uh, what's it called? Because uh, I've I've owned him I've owed him this one and I'm not sure if we'll answer it he should answer, but I won't keep him on for too long because we've already been going for almost we're getting close to two hours. Uh, all right, let's see. I'm nervous. To, the thing is, I I'm scared because I don't know him personally. Obviously, I don't think he would do anything ever, but um, I'm worried to do something like this, like to bring somebody on stream because you never know what the person's gonna say or do, and that can be an issue. Um, but I trust him enough. Uh, da, 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 da. I need to find him. And we just texting him earlier. Got him. He's the only person I could do this with. Let's see if he answers. If not, if he doesn't answer... Okay, let me send him an audio message and give him opportunity. Hey, man, I'm trying to get you on the stream right now to call in. Just a quick one, because I know it's been your dream for a long time. Let me know if you want to call in real quick. We're, we're waiting for you. Let's give him five minutes, all right? If he doesn't answer, um, if he doesn't answer, let's, uh, let's, let, I'll open it up to one of you guys. Here's what we should do, all right? If any of you guys want, just in case he doesn't answer, if any of you guys want to call into the stream, Follow me on Instagram right now and DM me on Instagram right now. I'll open up my friend, my request and we'll put you on stream live, okay? We'll do a call real quick and we'll talk about whatever you want. I'll give you like five to ten minutes. We'll try this as a one-time thing, okay? Because I really don't, I'm nervous to that, <laughs> that whoever's going to call in is going to be a problem. Can you, Raj says, can you figure out a way to viewers to call in the show? Look, I, I want to. I'm fucking busy making content for you guys. So I make a video every goddamn day and a live stream every other every other day. I'm up to here with shit to do on my day to day. Like it's a hard for me to spend time to try to figure out other things. Um, a couple more weeks, in my opinion, a couple more weeks of this, a couple more members. Like if we can get the channel up to 200 members, I'll be able to take a step back truly from having to make a video every single day. I'm just too scared to let the algorithm like know that I'm slowing down. That's my problem. I'm genuinely afraid because I know what YouTube does when it, um, when you slow down on content and it can, it can hit you really hard. Did somebody super chat me and I didn't react to it? I didn't. Uh, S Mavi said, whenever you're ready, thank you for the $5, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. I don't know. What did you see? Did you mean whenever I'm ready is like you want to call in? If so, hit me up on Instagram right now. I'll answer. Okay. It doesn't look like the guy, the, the guy's answering. So whoever wants to call into the show, follow me on, follow me on Instagram right now and message me. All right, right now, if you want to call in. Rachel to the rescue is 1999. Thank you, Rachel. Our 250 freaking dollars. Tall, thanks for showing us your beautiful family inside Israel and speaking from your heart. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Rachel. Is it Rachel or Rich Rachel? I've never seen it with an I. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna give you guys one more minute. If anybody wants to message and call into the show, feel free, message me right now on Instagram. I'll open it up and, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have one of you guys call in and say whatever you guys want pretty much. Just don't say any racial slurs or anything like that to get me booted off of YouTube. I don't know how to choose who though. <clears throat> All right. Hello, you look Middle Eastern. Thank you. I am Middle Eastern. Thank you so much. 
I, I meant to look Middle Eastern, because I am. Bruce says, thanks to your video about your family. What was that? Sh do a sitcom reality show. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be super curious uh, to hear what Raj's voice sounds like. Okay, you know, two of you guys are members. If, Raj, if you're down to call in, you can call in. Uh... Yeah, Israel Tavores. All right, we're going to call Israel Tavores, longtime viewer of the show. We're going to, I'm going to call you on Instagram because I'm pretty sure I have your number on Instagram. No, man? Can you message me on Instagram or on uh, WhatsApp? I think it'll be a stronger connection. Where's your number? I can't find your number, Israel. Message me on WhatsApp. Oh, there you are. Okay, got you. Cigar and tall. I love that. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> I, want, I don't want to have to show your number. So we're not going to do any FaceTime. We'll just do a call, all right? So that I can hang up easier. Okay, guys, with further ado, I am bringing on to the show one of you amazing members of the show, one of the claps himself. Here is Is Hi. Israel Tavor. Shalom, Habibi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, man. It's good to hear your voice. It's not what I imagined your voice to sound like. You thought it was more uh, like what? Wait, keep talking real quick. Hi, can you hear me well? Yeah, you don't sound Israeli. Do you sound a little bit Latino? Oh, I'm a little Latino. Uh, no, I'm half French, half American. Ah, French, okay. I didn't, I, I, I don't yeah. know why I, I heard like a Spanish accent there. Okay, why don't you, you don't have to introduce yourself fully if you don't want to give private details about yourself, but why don't you introduce yourself to the audience? Let us know where you're from, who you are. Um, I moved to Israel in 2010. Uh, lived in Ranana, which is a boring city, up north Tel Aviv, and uh, now I'm living in Tel Aviv, in the center of the prostitution uh, sector of uh, Tel Aviv, with, where you have all the escort girls. That's what I've been told. Neve Shana? I've been told. Is that I don't know for real. Is it Neve Shana? No, Neve Shana, you have the uh, drug addict prostitutes um, in the escort section. So is That's what I've been told. I, I haven't checked myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you were you were saying you have also texted me something about this. Yeah, I know Mars Mello is saying I didn't expect Israel's voice to sound like I didn't expect your voice to sound like this either. Um, you were saying you were gonna tell us a little bit about atheism in Israel. Yes, um, I'm an atheist Jew, which is sometimes uh, weird for non-Jews. Non-Jews sometimes they tell me, "No, you're not a Jew because you're an atheist." I say, "Well, I'm a Jew, so according to the most orthodox rabbis, I'm a Jew, and according to the atheist Jews, I'm a Jew. So I guess I'm a Jew." And which is funny because it's non-Jews that are trying to tell me if I'm a Jew or not. So I've always thought it's a little weird <laughs> that they want to label me for something which I'm not. So, uh, but uh, I can only speak from my experience. Being an atheist in Israel is not difficult at all. It's actually quite uh, uh, cool because every rabbi, and I've met a lot of them, they want to invite me for dinner because they try to convince me in some sort of a, a way with food, basically, which could work. And um, uh, uh, I have uh, like discussions with rabbis and they've never been like uh, mad at me or mean to me or anything like that. They were like uh, really trying to talk with me and uh, uh, debate and uh, it was never um, uh, aggressive. So uh, um, uh, some of them turned out to be friends, but uh, they haven't convinced me yet. Sometimes they think I'm an atheist because I'm mad at God. It says no, I cannot be mad at something I don't believe exists. So, uh, but still, I'm very attached to the uh, Jewish culture, to the uh, uh, Jewish festivities, to uh, uh, Purim, Hanukkah, uh, Pesach, and, uh, and Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is the best day to be an atheist Jew because basically you can ride your bicycle everywhere and it's uh, <laughs> pretty safe. And, um, uh, but like, never got a hard time. The, the fun part is that I speak with a lot of uh, Arab, Israelis, Muslims, and they're the ones who are trying to convince me the most to be a uh, uh, good Jew, in their meaning religious Jew. Says, uh, don't bother. 
my best friend was a Baruch Yeshiva. For those who do not know what it is, he was raised in a very orthodox, uh, very orthodox school, and um, and he never tried to convince me because we agreed that we just want to make sure we are good people, and that's it. And uh, we were very good friends. He, it's only kosher, and I eat whatever comes in my feet. So. Uh, um, yeah, that's uh, my my feeling of, be, of being an atheist Jew in Israel. And sometimes I talk with other Israelis, and I found that there's a lot of atheist Jews in a Israel. A lot. That's, uh, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the one thing that's really interesting is that, like, Judaism is the only sort of, like, cultural group like this. Like, and this is what I think makes it different from Islam and Christianity is that... Uh, you can be, you can convert to Islam, you can convert to Christianity as a Jew, but the Jewish community will always still see you as a Jew. You can't un-Jew. Like, it doesn't matter what you do. You can kill somebody, you can, it doesn't matter. You'll never not be a Jew. Till the day that you die, you're born a Jew, you're always a Jew. You cannot believe, but the entire Jewish community will still see you as one of us. And, and furthermore, it doesn't matter what you do, you still, go, like, it's amazing. Like, Jewish people will still go through an effort to help you no matter what your religious prerogative is. Because you're a Jew, you're one of us. You're part of the tribe. It's what we believe yeah, in. Yeah, and, and there was the Archbishop of Paris of a few years ago. He was a, a Jew converted to uh, Christianity, to Catholicism. And uh, his name was Jean-Marie Lustiger, and his real name was Aaron Lustiger. And uh, when he died, so it was, it was very famous in France, but the, he asked for the Kaddish, to be uh, recited at his death right outside of Notre Dame de Paris. So um, it shows even if you convert to Judaism, to uh, Catholicism, he still felt he was a part of the Jewish people. He was not the only one. Uh, um, there was uh, Edith Stein uh, who died in uh, Auschwitz and she would convert to, she, she became a nun, but she said, uh, I was born a Jew, I'm gonna die a Jew. And uh, I think it's something that is deeply rooted in, uh, in ourselves. And um, I was not raised with any Jewish thing. My dad is not Jewish. My mom is. They were, they, on my mom's side, they were very, very secular. My grandfather was an atheist. But I always felt that uh, there was still this thing. Uh, I went to Catholic schools in France. And this is when I heard the hard way I was Jewish because uh, they made you feel it this way and not in a good way. Uh, not only the teachers, but all the people around, the other students uh, at school. Yes, I see Raj saying pork is good. Yes, pork is really good. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so uh, sorry. So, yes, uh, uh, there's also always this feeling, and I was in a part of France where there were no Jews at all. The only Jew I could see was Jesus on a cross, and uh, that's the only guy who was Jewish like me, besides my mom and bro my brothers, who was uh, also Jewish. So I said, oh, they put that guy on a cross, not a good sign. Well, Israel, I appreciate you calling in, brother. Thanks for, uh, thanks for your time, man. It's good to learn more about you. We should do this again in the future. Uh, no problem. I, I, I was a radio host, so uh, I have some uh, experience in the uh, Speaking behind the mic. Fuck yeah, so, man. That's dope. Uh, yeah, Hopefully we can do one in person together. Shirt. We still need to shoot a video together, you and I. Yeah, we have uh, some places to, to eat some food. Yeah. And uh, cheap places. Just so you don't have to super chat for the pay for that. Maybe we oh, could do yeah. a video called I Take an Atheist Jew to Eat a Kosher Meal. Can I, can I, abu yeah, no, no, can no. I abuse you on camera? Like your atheism? Can I take you to like yeah. a synagogue? Sorry, one second, the sirens. I, I, I bring my ham sandwich for Yom Kippur. One second, sorry, I couldn't hear you. There was a, silent, a siren going off. What did you say? I'm going to bring my ham sandwich to the synagogue for Yom Kippur. It would be hilarious if me and Israel Tavor make a video together. I take an atheist, like an atheist Jew to a synagogue or something like that. If you're down. I have no problem with that. You're dope, man. That's awesome. Merci, my friend. Appreciate you being here. Toda uh, Thank you for the good work. We love you. You're doing a great job, and you're showing the best uh, um, uh, image of Israel, and your family is awesome. Your grandma is amazing. Your uncle <laughs> is fantastic. 
and it was real. I was, uh, I was tearing up watching your video with your uncle and your family. Honestly, it was awesome. That's uh, that's really awesome to hear, man. Thank you so much, and thank you for your continued support, man. We'll talk soon, all right, no brother? Problem. See you, no Achille. Bye, 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 bye. That's dope. That went well. I, I that went a lot better than I expected. You know, I thought maybe <laughs> I didn't expect anything bad because we've been chatting for a while, and he's been on the channel for a while. Uh, all right, guys, I'm probably gonna hop on here. If you guys want to spam some last minute questions. That's really important to you guys. Let me know. Raj, do you want to come on? I'd love to bring Raj on if you're interested. I'm honestly curious to hear your voice. Even though Raj is a bit more of a confusing apple, I'm not sure if he'll just... Yeah, if he'll just jump on uh, and say something crazy. So Raj, if you want, I'll open up the chat for you if you want to hit me up on Instagram. Um... Yeah, you can call in right now, Raj, if you want to. Hit me up. Write me on Instagram and I'll give you a call. Send me a message on Instagram if you want. I think all of us would be curious to hear your voice, Raj. That was cool, man. Israel Tavor, thank you so much, bro. Thanks, thanks a lot, man, for coming on. That was really fun. Hey, listen, I'm I'm not opposed to it. We could potentially do this on every uh, on every stream now. If one of you guys want to call call in, it doesn't seem like there's enough of you guys who want to call in though because I haven't got any messages on Instagram, so. That was dope, Israel. Thanks so much. Thank you, Doug, for the 199. <laughs> you always showing the anti-Semites who's boss. ASA, goddamn, another one, man. 19 more British pounds. Thought for the day. Many people ask whether peace between Palestinians and Israel is possible. Yes, it's absolutely possible and even inevitable following the first gay pride parade in Gaza. <laughs> well, let's see when that happens. I, I mean... I can only, we, we can all really only hope to, for peace, you know, we, we really can only hope for peace, but we also have to be real about what was possible. Um, yeah, Raj, you can, but thank you so much, Asa, I appreciate you with the money. Thank you so much. We are at $279. We might break a record tonight for if we get to three hundred dollars that'll be breaking an absolute record for super chats on a live stream that i don't think i've ever done that before that'll be a fucking insane <laughs> that'll be fucking insane three hundred dollars for sitting here and just goddamn yapping to you guys for a hundred minutes my ass hurts but i'm down to get there if you guys are down i'm down the only thing i have to do tonight is edit a video for you guys and speak to some friends and i gotta write a script i got some stuff to do tonight but i'm on i'm i'm on i'm all for it Rifat said, hi. What's up, Rifat? Shalimar. Shalimar the anti-Semite. Raj, you sent me a message. All right, guys. Holy shit. The famous Raj is going to be coming on. Let's see, Raj. I'm looking for your message. Holy shit. I got you, Raj. Holy shit, man. I am nervous. <laughs> All right. You guys ready? Raj, I swear to God, man. If you fucking, if you fuck with me. I am going to ban you from this channel. Don't fuck with me. I'm going to tell Jack, have your finger on the ban Raj trigger. Get, get ready to go. <laughs> I'm just joking, Raj. All right, we're calling Raj. Here we go. Superstar Raj, we're waiting for him on the stream. Is it the nerves or is it the connection, Raj? Why are you not answering? Oh, there we are. Raj, welcome to the show, my baby boy. Hello? Is it the nerves or is it the connection? Hey, Raj, can you hear us? Raj? I just want to hear what my voice sounds like on the street. Oh, this is not what your voice sounds I didn't expect your voice to sound like this either. What do I sound like? I don't know. I just didn't expect this. Oh, gosh. I sound gay. <laughs> well, you are gay. Are you not? Okay, I'm going to mute the stream. Okay, hello, Tal. What's up, Raj? Look, you got, look how much love you have in the comments, man. It's unbelievable. You've become like a superstar in our community. Yeah, I see it. That's so cool, man. So tell us, tell us a little bit about yourself, Raj, more than we already know. We know that you're gay. We know that you're looking for an Arab husband. <laughs> But we don't have much more information about you, Raj. I'm 17 years old. 17 years old? 
Is this legal? Yes. Is it, can everybody let me know? If not, I need to hang up. I don't know if this is legal. It's totally legal. Is it's it? Totally legal. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm nervous now. <laughs> so okay. So you're 17. What? You're 17. I'm three months away from 18. Okay. That you're still 17. Where do you live in this world? In the U.S. Ah, you live in America. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So what do you? What do you? So I, you're, I guess you're in high school. What did? How did you find out about Israel content? Like what? What interests you about Israel? I actually already finished high school. But oh, I've been interested in Israel ever since I had a dream. <laughs> ever since you had a dream? Yeah. Okay, what kind of dream? Was it, is it a dream you can talk about? Yeah, so it was okay. before October 7th. I had a dream that my husband would be in. The dreams said Israeli Arab, but the Israeli first. But that was, okay, so the dream, so I, I would have an Israeli Arab husband. That was the dream. You... And ever since then, I've been interested in Israel. Okay, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's break this down real quick. Raj, you had a dream that you were going to, before October 7th, that you were going to have an Israeli Arab husband. Yes. What, did you know anything about Israel prior to that dream? Like, what did you know? I watched a few travel vlogs. You watched a few travel vlogs about Israel. Yeah. Wow. Okay, amazing. So, so all right. So, now the, now the goal in life is basically get an Israeli Arab husband. You're choosing a hard group of people to slam into there, Raj, because uh, for the most part, um, you know, Israeli Arab men are not, I wouldn't say homophobic as a whole, but it's like a very hard community to be openly gay in. Well, that doesn't bother me. It doesn't matter to you. No. You're in for the chase, Raj. Yes. And Raj, the name Raj is South Asian, right? Uh, South Asian? Yeah, like, are, are you, like, from the South Asian geographical area? Is that where your family is from? Yeah. Like, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, one of those countries? I'm half Indian and half black. Half Indian and half black. That's cool. Wow. You're not, by, by chance, like, from Trinidad, right? Something like that. No. 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 Okay. All okay. right, man. Well, is there anything you'd like to say to the beautiful people who love you? Everybody here is shocked that you're 17, I think. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. It's only if you want to. If you've got a message for the people. It's kind of weird uh, talking to you right now. I don't know. Just a bit weird. Is it strange? Yeah, I think it's a little bit strange. I agree. But I think it's cool. We broke the ice pretty well. It feels natural. I feel like we know we've been talking to each other for the last month on here on stream. We all love you. Just like Natalie said, you're welcome here. We love you. I think our relationship started off with you a little strange because we couldn't suss you out whether you hated Israel. We there you go. You're getting so much love. All right, Raji. Well, profile picture of two hugs, two frogs hugging each other. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have a question for you. Okay. Yes. Go. Have you ever been to Australia? I've never been to Australia. I've been to 64 countries now, but I've never been to Australia. Have you ever done a working holiday visa anywhere? Uh, no. No, I've never done a working holiday visa. But I know for Americans in Australia, it's a very easy thing to do. So if that was your question, it's very easy to do. And actually, a lot of Israelis do that as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because I want to leave the U.S. I don't like living in the U.S. I agree. By the way, Raj, I have a question. Do you know about the Druze people? Yes, I do. I think I just realized right now, I know a gay Druze guy. He lives in the Philippines. He's Arab. Does that interest you? Could we set up a shidduch for you? I'm 17 tall. Oh, fuck. Or I'm hanging up now. I forgot about that. Sorry. No, no, it's okay, but okay, whatever. All right, I'm not going to get in trouble. <laughs> bye, Raj. We love you, buddy. See you. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. That was a mistake. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm scared. <laughs> Holy fuck, man, that was not kosher. Uh... <laughs> Raj, I would have really appreciated if you would have said that you were 17 before I called you. <laughs> if we had like a shorts channel that had highlights of this channel, that goes into the highlights reel. That's hilarious. <laughs> I am fucking sweating. <laughs> Oh my God, that made me very uncomfortable.
I forgot that he was 17. I learned that he was 17 30 seconds before I called him. Or right as we called him. I didn't know. I just remembered. The guy keeps saying he wants a gay Arab man. I found, I remember I had one. But okay, we'll leave it. That's in the past now. We appreciate you, Raj. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking. You're right, Namco. <laughs> stop. I'm digging a hole. You're right. I'm going to stop. I think I need to end live stream. <laughs> I don't think I can bounce back from that one. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, folks, stop, Namco. You're digging me into a hole deeper with you. Folks, thank you a million times. This was a really fun. I think this might have been the most fun live stream we've done so far. Um... It's a very scary time to be in Israel right now. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous to be honest to get back to like a more, uh, to, to 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 talk on a little more serious point. It's very scary right now. Everything that's going on freaks me the fuck out. I'm really nervous. My heart is here with everybody and everything that's going on. I'm hoping to God that things get better and that we come out of this stronger. Um, but I'm, I'm fearful that this month is going to really test the people in this country, including myself and family. Um, I hope that things get better. But I appreciate you guys all so much for being here. Thank you for fucking $279 on stream. That's so dope. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for Raj and for Israel Tavor for calling in. Uh, if you guys are interested in calling in a stream... Try to plan it. I start at 6 p.m. in Israel time uh, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So if you guys are interested in calling in, uh, it would be dope to have more people call in on the next stream. We could try to make it happen. Just maybe try to be 18 if you can. Like, I don't, I prefer to not, not to be ageist, all right? Um, I love you guys. See you tomorrow, new video. Really good one. Keep an eye out for it. And I'll see you guys on Thursday for our next stream. By Mishpucha. Right? Thursday or is it Thursday today? Yeah, Thursday.